In today's video, I want to talk about a boatload of new features that have come to Seriously Simple Podcasting. Use the chapter markers below to navigate to find the stuff that's important to you or sit back and watch the whole video. I really hope that you do that and give us a thumbs up when you're done. Um, a few things that have come to Seriously Simple Podcasting that are going to be the most noticeable to you is we've removed the uh, nomenclature of series. Series for many years, have been individual podcasts. They've been podcasts that get their own podcast RSS feed. Uh, if you wanted to host a podcast network out of uh, your WordPress website, you would create a series. Series was a series from, I don't know, 20 years ago in the podcasting landscape. Series then meant something different. Series now means something different, but it never meant an individual podcast. Uh, and it's how we've used it for many years. So that is gone. Uh, well, it's not gone. It's technically still there in the background. It's just no longer called series. Uh, it's called all podcast. When you click on the all podcast section, the words have changed to podcast. But when you go into your uh, what was then a series, now a podcast, if we go to edit this one, for instance, you'll see a little bit more details that correlates the RSS feed to your podcast. Uh, just a few short days ago, if you clicked into your series, you wouldn't know any of the stuff that's associated with your series feed, now podcast feed. So there was always like this thing, well, what's a series? What do I create this for? And then if you already knew that you had to create a series to make a podcast, uh, when you were you know, editing your series information, you're like, well, I forget, like, what was the show description? Who was the author? What was the cover image associated to it? Now we're displaying that information here to sort of help you tie that information together. And then you can go right into that feed settings by clicking the shortcut button there. That'll bring you right into your feed details uh, for that particular podcast. So no more series. It's now called podcast as it rightfully should have for so long. And instead of seeing all podcasts on the left-hand side, it's now called all episodes. Because when you click on that, technically you're looking at all of the episodes, whether you have one podcast or 100 podcasts uh, in your WordPress dashboard. So you can see all of your episodes here. The nomenclature has changed. Uh, if you hadn't been using Seriously Simple Podcasting up until this point, none of this means anything to you. I'm telling this to everyone who's been with us for many, many years. Okay, one other awesome thing that has changed in Seriously Simple Podcasting, a small but mighty change, it's something called Podping. And you know that I'm a, a pretty big proponent for the Podcasting 2.0 stuff that's happening in terms of payments, in terms of keeping and preserving the RSS feed for open publishing. Podping and I'm going to look at this from a really simplified 50,000 foot view, is like uh, instant notifications on steroids. <laughs> the developers aren't probably, probably not going to be happy with me saying that, but that's the way that I look at it. If you're a podcaster out there and you've published your podcast to Apple or Spotify, you know you have those days where you hit publish and you're like, where's my episode? Why isn't it on Apple yet? Why hasn't Spotify shown it? Uh, that's because, well, they're using the RSS crawling mechanisms that are quite old and slow, uh, if, you know, if, for lack of a better phrase. Podping is a technology that runs on the blockchain, and it's not anything to do uh, with crypto or NFTs or anything like that. If we go into our feed details, you'll see that Podping, uh, located at the bottom, is enabled by default. If you can click on more details here, you can read our uh, support document about it to understand it a little bit more. You can actually go to a Podping Watcher page, which will automatically look at all of the podcasts that are publishing. You can see it's actively updating right now. Uh, all of the podcasts and podcast hosting companies that support Podping. So it's instant notifications um, that your your episodes are published. Man, it would be amazing if Apple or Spotify or Google supported this technology. It's free, it's open source, just like WordPress. If they supported it, as soon as you hit published, um, it would be instant and active on everyone's apps and everyone's directories. It's a beautiful thing. Check that out uh, in Seriously Simple Podcast. It comes on by default. If you want to shut it off, you can, but it's really a massive benefit to you, especially as the industry starts to adopt more of uh, these standards with podcasting 2.0. Okay, let's move on to transcripts. Arguably why you're probably here. You want to learn more about what we've done 
with the transcripts block and the transcripts add-on for Seriously Simple Podcasting. You can activate it uh, again for free. Go to Settings, Extensions, go to the Transcripts extension, go ahead and click that and you can download it, activate it, and install it on the site. Totally free. Here's what it does or, or here's what we do with it uh, with Seriously Simple Podcasting. So Podcast 2.0 stuff is there is a, uh, a, a namespace in the namespace. You are able to deliver a transcript file directly in your feed that goes out to any platform that supports the Podcast 2.0 transcripts uh, tag. So if it's an app, if it's a directory, if it's the podcast index one day, if you go to a web player like curiocaster.com and you play an episode that has the transcript file in it, you'll see it in the app. So the, this is very important uh, for accessibility, great for discoverability, great for search engines, great for your, you know, your loyal audience that wants to go back and scan through. What did they say? I want to find that link that they talked about. It, it just has so many benefits to deliver transcripts uh, through the podcast feed, and now we support it. You can upload a transcript file. So it's in SRT, VTT, JSON, HTML, or text uh, file format. You can export a transcript from Descript and upload the file here. If you're a Castos customer, we do transcripts for you automatically. You can copy and paste that into a text file and upload that here. Hint, hint. There will be some account connection settings coming soon to make your life even easier. But all of that will get delivered out into the feed automatically. You don't have to do anything and you're broadening the support of transcripts throughout the industry. Another thing that we've done. If you are displaying transcripts on your website, you can add a Castos transcript block. So if you just add block, cast those transcripts. You can see we have this pre-formatted block for you to go ahead and paste in your transcript. So if I wanted to open up my transcript file, uh, copy paste this transcript, you can paste that in and you have this big transcript that came out of um, whatever tool I use to, <laughs> to transcribe this. And you have this big uh, amount of text there. If I hit update and preview that on the front end of my website, you can see now there's this nice little transcript block, sort of accordion format, and it can open and close it. So that's cool. You can now put transcripts with a nice little block inside of WordPress. You can do things like hide the title, change the, the title color. Of course, you can say Matt's transcript. If you want to customize that title, you can play with some of the formatting, like make the blocks bigger. You can play with all the colors and all the settings. Here's one thing we've done for the power user, uh, myself included. <laughs> right down here in the bottom, we have hide from podcast RSS feed. So you have the option to either send it out to your podcast feed uh, or show, or I mean, hide it or show it in the podcast feed. And basically what that does is for anyone that has like an hour, two hour, three hour long podcast, your transcripts are pretty, pretty massive. And if you are putting them into your WordPress uh, content area, along with other show notes and links that you've put together, your podcast feed gets pretty big. I mean, like file size wise, your podcast feed gets pretty big. And when it loads up in an app, it might be just like this long, unscrollable, you know, wall of text. With our block, you can choose to hide that from the feed so that it doesn't go out into the feed. Everybody sees it on the website but they don't get this massive wall of text in the uh, player section or the description section of their podcast player. And what you really want to do is deliver that more efficiently through the transcript file through Podcasting 2.0. Now you can opt to uncheck it if you have a very short show or you're not concerned with having this really large podcast feed. But for those of you that have hundreds, thousands of episodes that are hours long, a transcript in the body of your WordPress content can get pretty hefty in terms of the podcast feed size. So now you can do it. Now you can customize it. You can customize the look and feel. You have a nice Castos transcript block that you can drop your transcript right in. It's got a nice little accordion effect. And then you can fine tune it, hide it, show it in your RSS feed. Whew, I'm out of breath. There's a lot of stuff in this episode. I'm going to probably break down each individual feature that we've launched. We have a whole bunch more coming, which I'm really excited about, but we have pod ping support. We no longer use series. They're now called all podcasts. Uh, we have the transcript 
podcast 2.0 support right in the feed. And we have this transcript block, lots of nice features, a lot of great features for preserving uh, RSS and open publishing with podcasting, especially with folks like Spotify and YouTube knocking at the door. You never know what's going to happen in this, uh, in this environment. If you're a fan of open RSS publishing, if you're a fan of the podcast 2.0 stuff, if you want more stuff inside uh, the plugin, let us know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. I know you want more. All right, we'll see you in the next video.